I was at one of my job sites today and I encountered this gazebo structure and it's absolutely beautiful. And I was looking at it closely and I see that the, the quality of this redwood is very, very clear. There aren't any knots in it. They spent a fortune on this redwood. Even the two by twos are all clear. But when you look at the redwood, it's really interesting that uh, the growth rings are nothing like redwood from you know, even 40 and 50 years ago when we used to get some of the older stuff. It's uh, second growth and it's fairly fast growing, but it's still sold as high-end clear redwood. So I'm sure they paid a fortune for this wood. Now, I was also observing, observing the connections here. They put steel plates on the back side here on all of these areas and they bolted it in. Now what's what's interesting is the way that this is constructed by pinning it solidly from here to here means that the wood expands and contracts but it's held rigidly with the steel plate on the back side. And as you can see this fairly new structure is already starting to develop cracks because the wood is always going to move, especially if it's an outdoor piece of wood. So how would we have done this differently, or how should it have been done differently? You know, there's a couple things. Well, for one, the uh, connectors right here, um, they look like they were galvanized, but some of them have rusted through and that's causing streaking. That's a problem. Um, the steel is an interesting idea, but pinning it from here to here is probably not the wisest choice. Had they pinned it here and here only, and here and here only, then the wood would have expanded and contracted on that metal plate on the background. And it probably would have held up much better. Uh, another option would have been to put a slot in through here and join it inside, kind of a mortise and tenon joint. Um, that also would have probably been better to pin it here and here. Uh, that actually, I believe, would have been a better way of going, a small steel slot in between here with one pin here and one pin up here. That would allow the wood to expand and contract, but it would have kept the alignment of these pieces in, intact. Um, it's hard to be critical of something so beautiful, but it's sad that a lot of modern woodworkers don't understand and recognize some of the techniques that are really well known for old school woodworking. Some of the ways of the past took hundreds and hundreds of years to recognize, but now that we've incorporated a lot of these metal uh, ways of doing things, we think that we can just bolt something together and it's going to hold. But at the end of the day, wood is always going to behave the way wood behaves.